Why did the guy get put in the friend zone? Because when she asked him to open up, he said, Sure, which chapter of my comic book collection do you want to see? Ah, the friend zone. A place where love goes to read comic books and watch reruns of old sitcoms. It's a concept as old as unrequited love and just as heart-wrenching. But don't worry, there's a silver lining and it's made of laughter. You see, the friend zone can be a veritable gold mine of comedy. It's a place where the lines between romance and camaraderie blur, where signals get crossed, and where the phrase just friends takes on a whole new meaning. It's a place where you can be a knight in shining armor, only to find out you're not even on the right battlefield. So, if you've ever found yourself wondering if you're in the friend zone, stick around. We've got some signs to look out for. So, you've become her go-to person for relationship advice. You know every detail of her love life except how to be a part of it. Picture this, it's midnight and your phone buzzes. You spring awake, hopeful that it might be a late night text from her, but alas, it's not a flirty message. Instead, she's asking for advice about another guy. Yes, my friend, you've become the unrequited confidant. You're the one she turns to when she wants to dissect her relationships, but never the one she wants to be in a relationship with. You've become the human embodiment of a romance novel, minus the romance. She spills her heart out to you about the guy she met at the coffee shop. The one with the charming smile and the cute puppy. You know the exact shade of blue his eyes are, and you've never even met the guy. It's like you're a part of a tragic love story, where you're the character who knows every detail of the heroine's love life, but never gets to be the hero. You're the one who picks up the pieces when her heart gets broken, but never the one who gets to hold her heart. Now, don't get me wrong, being a good listener is a virtue. In fact, listening is one of the most valuable skills a person can possess. It's a sign of empathy, patience, and understanding. But, if you're only ever listening to her talk about other guys, it's time to ask yourself, are you in the friend zone? Being the unrequited confidant, is a classic sign of being in the friend zone. It's like being a love doctor without the love. Or maybe it's like being a relationship guru without the relationship. Either way, it's a one-sided dynamic that leaves you longing for more. So, if you find yourself nodding along to everything I've just said, I hate to break it to you, but you might be in the friend zone. Remember, being a good listener is a virtue, but if you're only listening to her talk about other guys, you might be in the friend zone. She introduced you as her friend. Sounds harmless, right? Until you realize it's the just before friends that's the problem. Now, let's dive into the second sign of being in the friend zone. Being introduced as a friend, never as a potential romantic interest. Picture this. You're at a party, feeling pretty good. You're chatting with her, sharing laughs, and then someone new walks up. She turns to the newcomer, hand on your shoulder, and says, this is my friend. There it is. The F word. Not the one you're thinking of. The other one. Friend. And not just any friend. Oh no. You are her friend. Not my guy. Not my date. Not even my plus one. Just friend. Now, don't get me wrong. Being a friend is a beautiful thing. It's a bond of camaraderie, trust, and mutual respect. But when you've got that romantic spark flickering inside, being branded as a friend feels like a bucket of cold water dumped on your hopes. You see, the Just Friends label is a subtle way of setting boundaries. It's a signal that she sees you as a platonic companion, not a potential love interest. It's a gentle way of saying, I value you, but not in the way you might hope. But hey, it's not all doom and gloom. Being in the friend zone doesn't mean you're doomed to forever watch from the sidelines. It just means you might need to adjust your expectations, redefine your relationship, or perhaps even find a new love interest. Remember, don't take the Just Friends label as a personal failure. It's not a reflection of your worth or your attractiveness. It's simply a sign that this specific relationship isn't headed in the romantic direction you might have hoped. So, if you've been introduced as Just Friends more times than you can count, Welcome to the friend zone. You're planning romantic gestures. She's planning which movie to watch on your next friendly hangout. See the problem? Ah, the one-sided romance. 
a classic sign of being in the friend zone. This is when you've mustered up the courage to make those heart-racing, palm-sweating romantic gestures. You're thinking candlelit dinners, surprise gifts, and heartfelt letters. But alas, these grand gestures are met with a friendly pat on the back, or worse, a brotherly hug. You see, when your feelings are not reciprocated, your romantic gestures are seen as friendly ones. You're investing time, effort, and emotions to make your love interest feel special. But she just sees you as a really good friend who goes the extra mile. You're putting your heart on the line, hoping that she'll see you as more than just a friend, while she's just appreciating your friendship efforts. Imagine this scenario. You've spent days planning a surprise birthday party for her, thinking this will finally be the moment she realizes your feelings. The day comes, you surprise her, she's happy, thrilled even, and then she turns to you and says, you're such a great friend. Ouch. That's a direct hit to the heart. Now, this doesn't mean you should stop being a good friend, but it does mean that if you're looking for more, and your romantic gestures are consistently met with friendly responses, you might be in the friend zone. And I know, it's a tough pill to swallow. But remember, it's not about changing who you are, but about understanding where you stand. So, if your candlelit dinner is met with a this is such a fun friend date, or your surprise gift is met with a you're such a good friend, then, my friend, you may have found yourself in the infamous friend zone. If your romantic gestures are met with a friendly pat on the back, yep, you've landed in the friend zone. You flirt, she laughs it off. You compliment her, she says, thanks buddy. If this sounds familiar, I have some news for you. Welcome to the barren land of absent flirtation a stark desert in the lush landscape of romance. This is the fourth sign that you're not just circling the friend zone, my friend. You've landed smack dab in the middle of it. Flirtation is the spice of any budding relationship. It's the playful banter, the teasing, the subtle compliments that make your heart flutter. But what happens when this spice is missing from your interactions? When your well-intentioned compliments are met with a dismissive chuckle? Or worse, complete ignorance? Well, you find yourself in the dusty plains of absent flirtation. A place where your flirtatious remarks fall flat, where your compliments are met with a pat on the back and a hearty, good one pal. A place where the word buddy is thrown around more than a football on a Sunday afternoon. And the worst part? The person you're trying to impress doesn't even realize it. They see your attempts at flirtation as friendly banter, a joke, or just plain old conversation. They're not trying to hurt your feelings, but their obliviousness stings nonetheless. But don't despair just yet. This isn't a life sentence. It's merely a sign, a red flag, a warning bell, that your feelings might not be reciprocated in the way you'd like. It doesn't mean you have to stop being friends or that you should give up on your feelings. It simply means that you might need to reassess, to recalibrate, to reconsider your approach. So... Next time you find yourself flirting without reciprocation, don't just laugh it off. Take a moment to reflect. Are you in the friend zone, or are you standing at the precipice, about to take a nosedive into the abyss? If your flirtation is as effective as a screen door on a submarine, you, my friend, are in the friend zone. So, let's recap the signs of the friend zone. Or, as I like to call it, the no romance zone. You might be in the friend zone if you're also known as the unrequited confidant. You know, the one who listens to all their romantic sagas while you're silently screaming, Pick me, inside. Then, there's the Just Friends label. If you hear this more often than your own name, it's time to get a clue. The friend zone is waving at you. Also, if your relationship feels like a one-sided romance novel, or you're the only one daydreaming about candlelit dinners and long walks on the beach, then you, my dear friend, are in the friend zone. And lastly, if the flirtation is as absent as a snowflake in the Sahara, then it's pretty clear you're not on their romantic radar. Remember, the friend zone isn't the end of the world, but if you've nodded along to these signs, it might be time to rethink your strategy. 